few years ago I bought a second hand solar hot water service. I quickly cut and welded up some frames, mounted the panels, got the sparky out to wire it up and then the floods happened and then life happened and I could not for love nor money get a plumber to come and rig it all up for me. So it just sat on my roof for ages. Recently got a tiny window of time and went, you know what, I'm just going to give this a go, it can't be that hard. So I found a manual crimping tool to connect all the copper fittings and I found the installation manual for the exact service that I had so I was able to connect all the right valves in the right locations. The logic behind it all was that we were using instant gas hot water and it absolutely chews through gas. It's good in the sense that you're only heating what you use, but it's costing us $80 a month in gas, which is way too much at the moment. And I really wanted to see if I could pull this off. Okay, so mains water's back on from the tank. I've looked all over the joints. There's only one incy weensy little leak, so we'll call that a win, but that man manual crimping tool really did the job. Just want to see how long it takes to heat up a full tank just with the sun. I haven't turned the electric heating element on. I want to see how long it takes. So we've been running that hot water for a few weeks now, and it's running awesome. I've manually switched off the electric booster element, which is something that I'm just going to have to manage over time and weather permitting and power and generators and all that sort of stuff. Environmentally speaking, it's fantastic. I'm using the sun to heat the water. Financially, it's amazing because it's now saving us $80 a month on not having to pay for gas for the instant gas hot water. So all in all, good win. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.